Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. We made it. So this will be the final deco that we're going to do on the series Helix, but this is the most important decode on the series that we've done. This is the series that aired five years before CV-19, and boy, is this a doozy. Now, by now, you know that we found the word Crovid inside of the lung-like branches of this tree. And the tree appears in detail late in the season, the second and final season of Helix. And it appears just as they are discussing Narvik C, a virus that threatens to wipe out the world. Now, no alterations have been made to this image other than the yellow highlighted area where the word appears in the branches. Now, we're going to play the clip first from the montage that we uploaded the other day. And then we're going to come back to this image inside this program where I was able to highlight the word Crovid inside. Now, I'm saying that word differently because you can't say the actual word or the video will be flagged. Let's take a look at this here. I've only got 72 hours until Alaria releases the new Narvik C. What could Alaria possibly have to gain? I like to quote Shakespeare, John Donne, Gertrude Stein. But the last one is a bit of an anachronism, but I couldn't resist. These are fragments of prior builds. The reveries must be allowing him to access them. Of course, for alarm, Bernard. Simply our old work coming back to haunt us. A new strain, Narvik C. It's self-replicating. It's self-replicating. It's self-replicating. Now, if this does not prove foreknowledge, I don't know what will for some people. The word COVID didn't exist in the context of a spandemic before this point in the human history. Let's take a look back in the program and examine this very closely. So here's the tree. Now, what is this tree? We're going to get into what this tree represented in the series. It represented a tree called Mother. And this all goes back to an ancient Roman cult of cutting down trees in a Christ mockery ritual. Now, some of you notice that this tree also inverted looks like the bronchial system. The bronchioli, the lungs. So what you have is crovid in the lungs. So this is even more specific. Now we're going to zoom in on each part of this, each letter, so that you can see this isn't a stretch. This is simply seeing on the spiritual level. Now as I back this out, the C, let's focus on the C for now, becomes very clear. Now, if you're not looking for it, you're not going to see it. But when you look for it, you see it. Now, let's focus on the O. Let's zoom this in a little bit. Now, I'm doing, I've done this a couple times because I want people to understand that we're not stretching things or putting things where they are not. That this is clear, clearly happening on a spiritual level. There's the O. And as you can see, the branches are there forming a circular O. Now let's go to the V. Now I've done nothing to this background image. I'm going to repeat that again because I was accused of altering this image. And that's what people want you to think. They want you, they want to write this off as some kind of coincidence or this didn't really happen or he's stretching things to make things fit. And that's simply not the case. There's the V as you can see there with this branch coming down. It's a straight line that, that shouldn't be there. And coming back up here, and now the eye, you can see that very clearly here. 
let's highlight it. The eye comes up, it actually goes up a little higher. Can actually grab this here and pull it up even higher. It goes all the way up here. There you go. There's the eye. And finally, the D. So what is this all about? Well, they are not going to get away with all that was hidden because all that was hidden is being revealed. There's the D. Now my highlighting isn't exact, but I wanted to give you a general framework as to what we're looking at here. Let's zoom in back out and do a once over here. And there you can see it as I showed you in the video. And you toggle that out. That clearly says Crovid. Now, the plot thickens in season two with the evil, immortal, fallen angel, Ilaria Corporation, hunting for this magic tree. Now, they're looking for the tree, but they're also looking for the root of the tree. And they believe that this tree, which bears apples, will cause the world to be sterile. Now, the apples do not have any seeds. Let me make sure we're connected before we move on with this. Okay, it looks like we're good. The apple does not have any seeds. This reminded me of iPad Goat 2. But that particular apple did have seeds so I juxtaposed the two clips so you could see what's going on but in the plot line of Helix they're looking for world domination and world sterilization by feeding the world fruits and vegetables that will render them sterile does all this sound familiar so it'll spread around the globe in a matter of weeks if not days I don't see how we can help Now you heard her talk about self-replicating, and that reminds me of shedding, does it not? Now there's nothing you can do at this point. I don't look. Were you? If we're going to use this, their same logic. Because remember, I was talking to somebody the other day. A neighbor walked up, and he had a he had a mask on, and I could see the spit coming through the mask. And I just laughed. I said, you know, this is this whole thing is ridiculous. So if we're using that logic, which we all agreed was the case, then how are we going to, do we really think us wearing a mask against the people that are, are shedding are going to protect ourselves? I, I think we would look like hypocrites at that point. We have to have faith that no weapon shall prosper. And if you've already made the choice in faith to not get it, then God will protect you. But we can't start isolating ourselves from everyone because we will be, we will basically be discrediting our own viewpoints by doing that. Let's watch Arctic this. Sea. It's self-replicating. It's self-replicating. It's self-replicating. So it'll spread around the globe in a matter of weeks, if not days. I don't see how we can help. So there is the apple with no seeds. And see how it opens up like that? The way she cut it, that's the magnetic field. Remember I told you the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. There's a reason for that saying. Because the shape of this apple is the same as the shape of the tree. The roots and the branches forms the shape of a magnetic field. Now let's keep watching because this is pretty amazing. Some people notice that this could possibly say C and a V. Were they foreshadowing all the way back in 2012 what was to come in iPad Go 2? Of course, that's Lotus, which means um, the vice president What's of wrong? the U.S. There are no seeds. We don't need seeds. We graft all our trees from the original rootstock. We call her mother. 
But we need seeds to plant trees. That's the point of this whole mission. Michael discovered Mother quite by accident when the orchard was suffering from a terrible blight. Found this in his stomach. It looks like tree sap. Now, Mother is the tree that you just saw that we found the word Crovid in. And she bears trees from her root that grow apples that cause the people on this island to become sterile. And they're trying to replicate this technology all the way around the world to control the human population. Now, many of you will remember the video that we did on Hilaria, which is very close to the word Hilaria, which is the evil corporation in the series Helix. And we had discovered that this is a spring tree sacrifice ritual of Addis and Sybil. They cut down a tree. Let's zoom down here so you guys can see this. And it represents being cut off from the womb. They then feed on milk, just like an infant would after their umbilical cord is cut. And then they're born again. All of this is in the Hilaria cult. And then you'll remember we talked about they would take the tree after they cut it and they would deck it out in wool and purple violets. And there were even days of death, resurrection, baptism, torture, and sacrifice. Does all this sound familiar? This is a Jesus humiliation ritual. That's what the ritual of Hilaria is all about. Now, they even have a picture of Addis, because remember, this is an Addis and Sybil ritual, and they're basically mocking Jesus. There's a picture of Addis, and he actually is pictured with a shepherd's crook. Let me go over to that one here. I think it's here. Oh, that. No, that's not it. I think it's here. Nope. What to do with that? Oh, here it is. Here he is with a shepherd's crook. So, who's the great shepherd? That's Jesus. Now, some try to claim, have tried to claim in the past, that Christianity borrowed the story of Addis and Sybil, but it's actually the other way around. Because the Addis ritual and myth came after Jesus lived. So, so several people tried to predate this, but it's just not the case. There's a lot of evidence that this was copied from the Christ story. And of course, the enemy wants to do that. But you can look at the timelines and all the images, and none of it predated Christ. Christ came first, then Sybil and Addis, and this whole um, counterfeit version of the Christ story to mock him. Now, I'll put links to this story, which justifies what I just said. I'll put that in the pinned comment after the show, and you can see for yourself. But we're not going to get drowned out in the details here. So now, if we think about this cult of Hilaria, we think about the corporation of Hilaria, or Ilaria, and we think about the decking of this tree in wool, now it's all starting to make sense, isn't it? What you're looking at here, the crovid in the tree branches, ovid means sheep or wool, the wool in the tree. This whole thing we're going through is a hilaria ritual. The sheep in the lungs, the wool in the lungs, the wool in the tree branches. Hilaria. Now the interesting thing about hilaria is that they talk about not having or showing any emotions during the festival. This is crazy. They're supposed to keep a straight face. Let me see if I can find that in here. All right. It says the term seems originally to have a name which was given to any day or season of rejoicing. 
The Hilaria were, therefore, according to Maximus the Confessor, either private or public. Among the former, he thinks if the day on which a person married and on which his son was born, among the latter, those days of public rejoicing, anointed by a new emperor. Such days were devoted to general rejoicing and public sacrifices, and no one was allowed to show any symptoms of grief or sorrow. So they weren't supposed to show grief or sorrow. They could show rejoicing, but not grief or sorrow. Hilaria. We are in the midst of a Hilaria ritual with CV-19. Now, Sybil was called the Great Mother. And you just heard her, this woman here in the series, say she's the Great Mother. What she got there? Orch, that's the point of this. No rootstock. There are no seeds. What's wrong? There are no seeds. We don't need seeds. We graft all our trees from the original rootstock. We call her Mother. But we need seeds to plant trees. That's the point of this whole mission. Michael discovered Mother quite by accident when the orchard was suffering from a terrible blight. So we have Sybil, which is also called Mother, and we have the Mother Tree. So this is clearly a hilarious ritual story, which I believe was a foreshadowing of what we're going through right now. And I won't get into detail, but this Hilaria ritual involves removing sex organs in honor of Addis who had his removed. This is Addis. Some kind of sick love story. Sterility. The removal of your organs. And that's the very theme of Helix. Now the series continues with disclosure about Narvik CV-19. They say it's self-replicating or self-shedding as you just heard. So the people on the island that eat the apples become sterile. The apples have no seeds, just like Addis and his mother, Sybil. I think she was his mother or like his sister or something. Now, the only cure for there's this fungus that appears on the island and it kind of runs right alongside these sterile apples. And the fungus it basically consumes people from the inside out. Now, we do have a fungus issue in India, and we covered a little bit of that on previous shows. And, and it's related to CV-19, so you have these common themes running through this show that hadn't that came before CV-19. But this, the only way to survive this fungal infection is to drink the sap from another tree called the bleeding tree. And again, this is Christ's mockery because what did Christ do? He bled on a tree, right? Found this in his stomach. It looks like tree sap. What you got there? It's from the bleeding tree. The bleeding tree? We eat it so we don't get more sick. Yeah. The implications of worldwide sterilization. Infertility is a way to temporarily depopulate just until resources are replenished. When I got your spinal fluid, you had only been an immortal for a few days. Your cells had yet to specify the RNA chain. And once immortal DNA is transcribed into RNA, those mature cells are no longer transferable. They were So RNA, DNA, it's all about transferring a genetic message. Now this part's sick, and I'm not going to show you any of this, but basically they show this birthing room with all these uh, mothers tied up, basically. And uh, this is how they get their children on this island. It's very sick. It reminds me of... Um, what is it? The Matrix. When they're all the they're all in the wombs, and they're all in, stacked like in a library, almost like books in a library. Brought here, stripped of all non-essentials. It's not about propagating family. It's about control. Respect. True leaders will make you believe that their ideas are your own. Stripped of all non-essentials. That their way is the only way. So there you heard it stripped of all non-essentials, all of the same terminology that we're hearing over and over and over, going through our own hilaria ritual. And here they show the inverted crucifixion with the umbilical cord, which is 
basically the bowels. They repurpose them into the umbilical cord. We go from an umbilical cord to bowels, right? When you're born, your umbilical cord's cut off. Then you have to use your bowels. It's still one long tube. It's like a tree trunk. We become based in the sinful world with bowels. We leave the spiritual realm with God. He knew us in the womb. When they cut off your umbilical cord, it's called a stump. This all goes back to the ancient cord cutting tree ritual of Hilaria. Then you see the above below. And what you're seeing is Christ versus Molech. Do you have anything? The almost poetic reference to the tree. So who do you think did it? Robert Frost? And then you look below here, below the floor in the church. And this is where they find the stump, the tree stump, the umbilical stump of the mother tree. It was cut down and they built the church right over the top of it. Now, what is the significance of this? Well, if you go to any Catholic church, you understand that they're laid out like a cross. It's called an abbey. There's a main thoroughfare and then there are branches that go off the side. It is laid out like one big cross. So all this again is Christ's mockery. Now, people, I still get people that come onto this channel and try to discredit Christ. And I'm not saying that because I'm egging the trolls on or addressing the trolls. I'm saying that because the overall spirit of this reality is to deny Christ. If Christ was so unreal, why does Hollywood basically depict mockery of him in virtually everything they do? It's because he is real. They're trying to talk you out of it. So... We have this tree stump with the tree rings. This is the gate, the narrow gate. If you go through the tree of life, but if you're stuck in the trees of, of the knowledge of good and evil, then that's where you'll remain. You'll remain in this dualistic reality. This is why we step outside of the right-left paradigm on this channel, because if you want to live in the two trees, then you'll never see the forest. Now, let's keep going with this because here they find mother, the, the stump of mother underneath the floor in the church or what's left of her. And they find underneath a fungus root system and they're going to use that fungus to try to sterilize humanity. The mother tree. Michael built the abbey right on top of it. We can create widespread infertility without any mycotic effects. But you don't have the root. I don't need it. Mother was just a repository for the fungus. With modern gene splicing, we can insert the fungus into any plant we want. This is Dr. Kyle Summer with the CDC requesting immediate evacuation from St. Germain Island. This is Dr. Kyle Summer with the CDC requesting immediate evacuation from St. Germain Island. From St. Germain Island. Now, they're trying to get off the island, right? They have a cure. And they realize the rest of the world needs it. And the island is St. Germain. Now, what is St. Germain? St. Germain is a pagan cult. And it had members that included the likes of Helena Blavatsky. Now, the cult believes that St. Germain reincarnates into new bodies throughout history. And I found at least two of these new age sites that claim that Trump had been a reincarnation of St. Germain. This was at the beginning of his presidency, just after this episode aired. And this, now of course I don't believe in reincarnation. I believe that God can he his holy seed has something that is similar to that john the baptist was said to be the spirit of elijah but that's different than reincarnation according to what these people are talking about look at this confirmation trump is saint germain 
Now, someone else had sent me some information on this as well. Here's a completely different site. These are new age sites. I don't recommend these sites, but they are saying that Trump is an aspect of Saint Germain. This is really weird. So if we were to believe well, the new agers, this could be demon possession is what I think it really is. Then we would understand that possibly this episode was foreshadowing the presidency of Trump as Saint Germain demon possessed who would bring in this warp speed poison weird right this is very bizarre so there's also another saint germain and let's pull it up here what i do with that uh is this it Hold on, let me find it, you guys. Oh, I think it's back here. Okay, this is the other Saint Germain. Now, he is a count. And he is said to have lived to be 500 years old. And this is at least what he told people. And he said he was immortal. And he, would, he basically was a charlatan. He walked around taking people's money. And making them promises he couldn't keep. That they would be forever young. Now the immortals in Helix. There are 500 of them. They are also said to be immortal in the series. So this may be the Germain they were re referring to. When they named the island St. Germain. This guy was also a Transylvanian prince. Like Dracula. Now, he was also part of a cult, and he wrote a book. This is it right here. It was actually published by Ouroboros Press. And it's a book of magic and alchemy. And it claims to show a person how to be immortal. It teaches them how to find riches and treasure and to perform magic. It has a winged dragon on the front. And both Rosicrucians and Freemasons are mentioned here in this Wikipedia article as owners of this book. As well as Manly P. Hall. This All this stuff is pure evil. The book is coded. It's got sigils all over it that you don't need to look at. Because this is, this is very demonic stuff. Now let's keep watching this here. Because then you're going to see the Ouroboros in a ring of fire, a corona, as they light a mother on fire, a crown. Trees have crowns. It's the Saint Germain Island. Now, they keep playing the song by Dion Warwick, Do You Know the Way to San Jose? Of course, that came out in like the 70s, I think, maybe even the 60s. And I was like thinking to myself, what are they talking about? Well, they actually, San Jose is a Silicon Valley where Microsoft is, Gil Bates. They actually show an image of a flyover of Seattle. So you have Seattle and San Jose. It's very clear who they are referring to here. Watch. Do you know the way to San Jose? 
there is the Space Needle. Seattle Space Needle. And this is what they're referring to. This is the sh this is it. This is the shot. All along, this is what the whole goal was. The moment I wake up. Do you know the way to San Jose? 17 vials of mycosis cure. Now, they find the cure to this fungus, and the lady tells them, we don't have time for clinical trials. Uh, that would be warp speed. But well, we're not gonna have time to run this through the normal drug testing protocol. You don't have to. This is a real deal. But well, we're not gonna have time to run this through the normal drug testing protocol. Can you stake your life on it? I already have. Now, this is one of the characters and her birthday falls on Trump's birthday. Exactly. She's 33 years old right now. And here in the stand, the brochure stand, it says, fight the flu. And she's in, obviously, the pediatric waiting room of a doctor's office. Now, remember, this is all about GMO food, because in the series, the apples are what make the people sterile on the island. So the entire two seasons ends with this mock commercial for the Alaria Corporation. Fresh fruits and vegetables, sexless food, or food that takes your fertility. Where does my food come from? Is it safe to eat? Is it natural? Ilaria Fresh means no harmful pesticides. When you shop Ilaria Fresh, you're pledging your commitment to the stewardship of the future. Brave the new world of sustainable resources. From our family to yours. Ilaria. So there's all the mothers in the waiting room. They are sterile. They come to Ilaria to basically figure out a way to get pregnant. But what this involves is them signing their life and their freedoms away. They're put into this large facility where their bodies are harvested and caged. And they're impregnated through Ilaria's Fallen Angel program. Does this all this sound familiar? It's like a scene out of The Matrix. Then you're going to see the temple temperature scanner. Remember the one that they point at your temple? I saw Which we all had to endure over the last year just to go anywhere. Can't go to, into a hospital without getting one of these pointed at your head. You can't go to, you know, fun events without walking through a line like cattle and having this pointed at your head. And here it was in 2015 long before we would all experience this. I saw a little girl the other day, about three or maybe four years old. I want to start my own family. I thought it was dreaming. So, the series ends as Hilaria, run by the Fallen Angels, is able to feed humanity the sterile food, thereby reducing the human populations to sustainable levels so that the fallen ones can remain at the top of the food chain. And I don't know how much more clear it needs to be for some people, but this was all foreshadowed long before it would happen. So let's go into the chat here and see what you guys are up to. We'll do a little Q&A for a bit. I know it's Monday. I know we were on for a couple days of, over the weekend. Try not to overwhelm you guys too much. But I do know that other channels upload sometimes two and three times a day. We try to keep it to once a day. Um, I like to give you guys the weekends off, but this stuff, there's just too much happening. Now, there, the roast for uh, Gates is continuing. He's getting roasted in this ritual roasting here. And now they're saying that he was, he was being investigated before he left Microsoft. 
because he was having some inappropriate relationship with a female employee. And it was known that he was inappropriate with employees all the time. This is what the article says. Now, I'm not sure if I believe all this, but it's part of their roasting ritual, right? So all this is coming about. Now, I'm going to tie up a couple loose ends on a couple things before we leave the show today. Because that decode went by pretty quickly. I told you I had a dream about tornadoes all across the landscape. And many of you had the same dream. This was two or three weeks ago. This was right before the Midwest tornado outbreak. Well, just yesterday, a huge set of tornadoes ripped through Wu-Tang Clan, China. I'm saying that differently, of course. But here it is. The very place where some believe this all originated. I believe it was an American lab in this place. They're trying to dance around that. But isn't it interesting that it used to be a conspiracy, right? And now it's gone mainstream. Oh, but several months ago, you could have lost your YouTube channel if you would have put something like this up, right? The possibility that CV-19 was created in a lab rather than emerging naturally from an animal was initially dismissed as a conspiracy theory. But the letter shows a potential lab leak is increasingly being taken seriously. So now they're finally admitting it. That this is very likely that this maybe happened. But again, had you said this a year ago, you could have lost your YouTube channel or bit gotten kicked off Facebook. This is why they shouldn't be going around censoring people. Because we're all allowed to have our own opinion. Now here's another interesting development. A lot of parents who already got the sticker don't want their children to have it. It's coming out, you guys. It says here, look at the coding here, the 33. Hesitant to, to ha let their child get it because they're afraid. I'm not an anti veer or anti emmer I'm just worried. Isn't it weird how they've weaponized that name to where people are so afraid to be called that? That should tell you everything you need to know about how that paradigm was set up to scare people away from being called that name. You don't want to be one of those people. And one of these people in this article says that this all is just seems to be happening too fast. Uh, you think? And they're worried about their children. Now, there's one part in here. Despite the evidence of the VCE safety, several parents I spoke to the past week were similarly hesitant about getting their child the sticker. But it says here that until now, they seem to be safe. So look at some parents are even concerned about how this might affect puberty and the hormones of their children. Interesting, right? To this day, I can't believe so many people have gone and went out and got this without knowing anything. So that's the update on that. What else do I have here for you guys? Get all these tabs knocked out here. So we covered gates. Okay, let's get back into India. Now, if you were able to make yesterday's show... We uncovered Ludovic, which encodes the word Lou Crovid from iPad Go 2. And several of you noted that Lud is the place where Jesus is supposed to kill the Antichrist. The Dajjal in the Islamic faith in the Hadith says right here, Laud. Or Lude is the place where the Antichrist is supposed to be killed. 
You guys, we're in the last days. This is all going to go down pretty soon. Here's Lude on the map. Lud or Lude. The first three letters of the name of the cracked egg head child in iPad Goat 2 that seem to foreshadow everything that's happening right now. Now, someone else sent me this, that in Hindu funeral rites, they crack the skull. To, they think that it allows the soul to move on. And for those of the Hindu religion, they believe there's an afterlife, people go into another body, reincarnation and all that. Again, I don't subscribe to that. But that's what they say. But it's interesting because the cracked head of the egghead child in Ipet Go 2, this is another clue. This all was pointing back to India. The child was wearing a lungi or a lung. I, I call it a lungi. This is all about the lungs and breathing. So here is the Hindu uh, burial rites here. They call it the release of the soul. They cremate the bodies. They, they light them on fire. And then they have a vigil. And they wait until they hear the skull crack. So that the spirit can release from the body. Now it's interesting because they've come up with new guidelines and they're interrupting the Hindu people's burial rites, not allowing certain things to take place because of what they say is happening over there. And I don't know what's happening. All we see is headlines and news. It's completely possible that this all this is overblown. But look at this. Hindu Management of the Dead in CV-19. They actually have an, a paper on this. So I want to get you guys updated on that. So. I think that's about it. Oh, cover this one. McDonald's handing out free food now. If you got it. If you get the sticker. You guys, this is getting ridiculous. I mean... What else are they going to do to trick people into this? I don't know. All right, let's go into the chat here. Now, if you're interested in any of those stories, of course, I'll pin them in the underneath this video after the show is over. Okay. Now, let me type this in so you guys can see this. So this was the name in iPad Go 2. And then we simply scrambled it. Now, the word Lou means to read as well. So we read it. Read Dovich or read Crovid. Put that in there. There you go. Unreal. So, what are we doing tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow we're going to talk about the gas pipeline. Because I believe all this is pre-programming so that when they want to shut the gas line off, they'll just blame it on a hacker and everyone will believe it. And they'll use this to control different sectors and parts of the South that they want to take, that they want to threaten or blackmail or cause you to fall in line with their agenda. They'll just blame it on a hacker. And so all this is much ado about nothing. All right. Now, a couple of you asked me, please, please look at what was the name of the show? Where did it go? Gosh, look at all these tabs. There's dust. We'll try to look at dust. Wise blood. Oh, uh, there's another one you guys asked me to look at. Oh, his dark materials. I'll try to give that another go. I watched the first two episodes and I'm not into that whole like, you know, the magic thing, like the whole Harry Potter. I just could. I just can't watch that stuff. It's too retard. I shouldn't use that word. It's too ridiculous. I just can't. It doesn't keep my attention. I try to decode this stuff, but I just can't. And so I, if I see too much of that, I just it puts me to sleep. But I'll give it another go. Maybe I'll start at episode two or something. Try to pick it up there. But uh, his dark materials. So. Sod Squatch, that's pretty, that's the cool, cool screen name. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, hacker, like a cough. Yeah, everything's coded. Wasn't his name like Drago or something? Okay. It's Monday. The Cabal stopped the pipeline. Exactly, Linda. They did it. They could do it whenever they want. Oh, and this whole debris psyop, that's another psyop. Debris falling out of the sky. Then what they'll do is they'll just say, oh, and they'll just do drone, they'll do, do drone strikes, right? On any people that are leaders that are coming up, that are gathering people around them to try to, you know, peacefully protest. And they'll just drone strike them. And then they'll just say space debris came out of the sky. You see, all this is just a setup, you guys. It's all just to set up. And then they'll just hide behind accidents, hide behind all these things, and then they can do whatever they want. That's why I don't get too excited about all this stuff. You know, everyone was all excited about the the space debris that was going to fall down and East Coast Alert. And everyone's looking up in the sky and they're all afraid. That's to put the thought in your head so that when a house explodes... They'll blame it on space debris. Oh, it must have been space debris. And then people will believe it because they'll remember that debris has been falling out of the sky. Same with the pipeline. Same with the toilet paper. That's just my opinion, by the way. How long before we see the effects of the VC? It's already happening. Grievous sores, it's all happening. The plagues have begun. The shaking, the grievous sores... Um, and it will intensify. It usually takes two to three weeks for people drop out. If you look around you, okay, think of it this way. We went an entire year being programmed for CV-19, right? And then they were had us focused on the death count, right? Death count, death count. But then all of us, we all looked around and we're like, How, do you know anybody that died from it? No, nobody knew anybody, right? Well, remember that changed. Once the VC came out in December, all of a sudden we knew people who had taken it and had, and then afterward they died of something. But it was weird. It was like a role reversal because they flipped the script and they tried to say they died for other reasons all of a sudden. And all of a sudden we knew like, I know three or four people. I gotta, I gotta speak kind of quietly, but I have a neighbor downstairs. He just got it, most likely. And he blew up with, he thought he had like gout or something, but I'm really thinking that he got it. Known the guy for several years and all of a sudden, you know, we're all seeing this, but nobody wants to admit it. They're not letting people make the connection between the time frame in which they got this thing and any kind of adverse thing that happens to them after that. It's like everyone's in denial. The media is covering it up. So. That's what's going on. Okay. Just reading your guys' comments here. T. Jakes had an interview with Slouchy. Wow. Yeah, they blame everything on China, right? CV-19, space debris. <laughs> do, do you see the pattern here? It's the enemy. It's them. It's their fault. They, could, they blame it on the boogeyman. It's like the boogeyman. Guys, we gotta wake up to this stuff. It's like the schoolyard bully that gets blamed for everything, right? Now, everybody's been talking about this magnet, magnet gate. You guys, it's a psyop. When you take something dry and you stick it on something moist, it sticks. You'll notice in every single one of these videos that have come out, the arm is in an upright position or at least vertical you don't see the person lean over and the magnets still stick. You don't see the person pulling the magnet off and the skin sticking underneath. How do you know the 
these people aren't just getting clicks and views. You know how addicting viral videos are for people that want their life to matter? What would stop them from sticking something on the back of the magnet like honey or sticky tape? We're just going to believe these people? And all this is doing is making us look crazy. Look, let's say you injected me with, I don't know, five times the amount of what it would be in a syringe for a VC, okay? And let's say it was pure metal. Well, as soon as that got in my bloodstream, it would just go all throughout my bloodstream, right? It'd probably kill me. But at that point, even if you did five times the amount of what was in a syringe, and it was almost pure metal, liquid metal, let's say liquid, merc I don't know, something that's magnetic, iron. Our blood already has iron in it, which is magnetic. Even with that amount distributed throughout your bloodstream, you if you put a magnet up to my arm, it still wouldn't stick. So what are we supposed to believe that metal that isn't even detectable on a level that we could detect it, like if you stuck a magnet up to a syringe full of this stuff, it wouldn't stick. So now we're supposed to believe that this magnet is sticking to people's arms? Come on, you guys. We're smarter than that. And it, I've been in the truth community for a long time. And there are things that you can have an opinion on. I'm not telling people not to have an opinion. But they, get, they throw softballs out there to throw us off track. This is what the CIA does. They throw things out there to make us look ridiculous. And, yep, see, a lot of you guys are deceived. This is going to be used against us. Mark my words. It will be used against us. They will say people are crazy. They actually think there's a chip in there. You guys, they came out with a fact check within a few hours of the first video being posted. Within a few hours of the first video being posted. Not the 10 videos that came out or the 20 videos afterwards. I don't care if you had a syringe full of chips. It would not make a magnet stick. You got to use common sense. You need a lot of metal to make a magnet stick. You just do. I should do an experiment. I should take a BB and stick it under my skin and stick a magnet up to it or something that's magnetic. And, and even that won't make the magnet stick. Something as large as a BB. So, apparently, you know, you're welcome to your opinion. I just know this is a setup. I've been around for a very long time. And it, this, I've seen these kinds of hoaxes come and go. And all, it's just like the whole Q thing. I had people, 20% of my subscribers coming at me sideways. And I'm like, you don't understand. You're allowing Trump to make a VC that we're all going to be forced to take. No, you have a choice. You have a choice. And look, we're here we are now. So we're spreading the wrong. These aren't the kinds of things that should be going viral. Sticking a magnet on your skin and people all doing a test, thinking it's sticking when it's not, or they're being dishonest. The thing that should be going viral is foreshadowing like stuff like this, where you clearly see that they showed you what they were going to do. But sadly, stuff like this never goes viral because people want to see sensationalism. See, the CIA is smart. They know that something like that will go viral. And even if they paid 20 people to do it, that's what they would do just to mess us up. But hey, if that's what you guys want to believe in, then that's another setback for the truth community. And it makes me very sad that so many people believe this is real. Now, I will eat my words if I'm wrong, as you know that I have a few times in the past. But I am I am 100% sure this is a hoax. Anyway, I love you guys. Even if you disagree with me, you guys all have a great day. Be safe.